Second match day for the cricket prince here in Tigali at the ICC Men's T20 Sub Regional Africa World Cup qualifier. And the cricket prince managed to set 169 for four in the allotted 20 overs. Ronak Patel, the star performer with the bat, managing to get 69 runs of just 37 balls. Well, Simon Cesar with 32 and Saudi Islam with 43. Then there was Frank Akankwasa with the flourishing at the end, just getting two boundaries in the last over to finish on nine not out. But Uganda managed to score 169 and restrict Rwanda to just 63. After winning yesterday's match, we need to win this one. And it was a huge wicket. It was a tough wicket. So we plan our innings. Let's go for singles and doubles, rotating strikes, and then we'll get a boundary ball every two or three overs, and we we will hit at the boundary. Well, in the Rwanda innings, the Rwandan batsmen found the going tough, losing five wickets early on in their innings for just nine runs. Credit going to Frank Nsubuga Mulondo, the veteran ace who at 41 years is still doing the magic for Uganda, who finished with impeccable figures of two for five. In four of us, including a maiden. Support the, I give credit to the batsman when the bat in the wicket was keeping low, and when we came into ball, we knew the wicket was keeping low. We, did, we needed to just ball straight, and also was taking a, a lot of turns, so we needed to ball straight, and that's it because the wicket was turning too much. Next up for Uganda is the double header on Tuesday. They play Lesotho and Eswatini here at the IPRC over in Kichuchiro. Chigari and then victory gives Uganda a good feeling in their camp. They are two out of two and they are yet to play some interesting games in the tournament that has seven nations and only one spot at stake to the Africa finals that will be held from November 15th to the 21st here in Rwanda.